B'Shem Hashem Nas Ben Atzliach, we're learning Hilchus, Hilchot, Sukei De Zimra, and Kaddish, B'Zor HaDashem. We're starting out with Or Letzion, Rosh Hashiva of Parat Yosef, Ben Tzion of Ashol, Zeb Tzadik of Adashlub Racha. The question was, Ben Sfard, Sh'omet Shaliach Tzibur Etzel Bnei Ashkenaz, Hanoagim Lagdim Baruch Sh'amar, Lahodu, Ha'im Yochol Itzpala Lafi Seder Zeh. The question is, if a Sfardi dude, a Sfardi guy that was, that was asked to be a Shaliach Tzibur in an Ashkenazi shul, okay? And their custom is, Nusach Ashken, the Ashkenazi, especially, you know, young Israel and places like this, you know, Great Nick Synagogue, they definitely, they say, <coughs> Baruch Shamar before they say Hodu. You know Hodu, right? So they say Baruch Shamar before Hodu. Oh. So the question is, as a person, let's say, you know, you're asked to daven, you're, I mean, you know, are you allowed to, if you're the Shalich are you allowed to do it according to their order? Ah. Okay, so now let's just, uh, let's just understand. For the answer, first of all, he answers straight out. I mean, just, just to let you know, he answers straight out that, Im hu Shalich Tzibur etzel b'nei Ashkenaz, if a Sephardi guy is, is a Shalich Tzibur by Ashkenazim, yachol lahaktim baruch, baruch, birkat baruch shamar kodem hodu. So now let's just see what, what, what's, the, what's the whole background. So it says the Minaga Arizal, he brings down, is to say, this, this comes from the Arizal, to say Hodu before Baruch Sha'amar. You know, there's a lot of uh, Balei Tshuva that are picking Minhagim, because there's a Tshuva that if a person doesn't have a Masora, they can pick their own Minhag. So the Nusach of the Arizal, what the Arizal said with regarding his Nusach, that it's the 13th gate. It's a tremendous, tremendous... <clears throat> praises with regarding his Nusach. And with regarding the Arizal, he was noheg that he would put Hodu before Baruch Shamar, as it's brought down Shara Kavanot on the 50th page, right? Daf Nun. Vera'a Bezeh Bekafachayim. This is also what the Kafachayim brings down, that this is what the Arizal would do. Now it's the, the so too it's the minhag of, of the svardim. There's differences when it comes to minhag of svardim and there's minhagim of Ashkenazim, right? So mikom akom, nevertheless, it seems that if a person is picked to be a shaliach tzibur, right? Because that means that the people like want you to daven. There's a specific reason they want you to daven, right? And and you're and you're by them. Baruch He says that that if they're asking you to daven, then you can do like the way they do it according to their minhag. Because even according to the Arizal, he learns that there is there is there is a reasoning. Uh, there's there's deep sodot with regarding why they say Baruch Shamar before Hodu. So so a person you know there's, there's, there's a person can do like that minhag minagamakom. Moshe Amar, that's this is what it says in Shara Kavanot, also Drush Tfila, Tfila Tashachar, Daf Yud Zain. Shiesh Tam Lafia Kabbalah Gam Lenuhagim Laktim Baruch Shamar Kodim Lahodu. You know, you know, like uh, when a person when a person learns when lear, person learns Kabbalah and he learns according to the Sfardim, person could start to get like egotistical to be like, wow, you know, our way is the way Lafia Kabbalah Lafia this. And you have to know, you know, like the other opinions of the Rishonim, like the Rosh. You know, and so on and so forth. That oh, that had differences of opinions. Like they were, they were bnei Ashkenaz, and they did differently. Like the seder plate was different. The way they, whether they say a bracha on the tefillin shel rosh, you know, like all these things. So there's also this this deep sodot. Why they do it that way? Just to give a little glimpse, it says with regarding the ben Ishchai, The ben Ishchai brings down. He says there's a machlok at what to say on the tefillin shel rosh. If we should say a bracha or not, right? According to us, Svardim, we don't say a bracha on tefillin shel rosh. By the Ashkenazim, they hold like according to the, the to the opinion of the Rosh, actually that 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 he says that you should say a bracha. So he says every part of what you wear is connected one olam, like the talit is connected the olam of Yetzira, one world above this world is Yetzira, and then the tefillin shaliyad is connected the world of Beria, and then the tefillin shal Rosh is connected the the the, the world of Atzilut. So Svardim hold, according to the Rif, that we don't say a bracha on the Tefillin Shal Rosh because in the world of Etzilut, you could not make an Or Makif. It's not Shaykh and Or Makif in the world of Etzilut. 
So he says, so what about the Rosh? Opinion to the Rosh? What about that? He said, you want to know? The Rosh holds that you could make an Or Makif in the world of Etzilut. That's why they say a brach on the Tefillin Shal Rosh. There's deep sodot behind everything, and, and everyone should respect each other's minhagim. And, uh, and yes, at the, at, the, at the bottom line, if a person is picked to become a Shalich Tibur in an Ashkenazish uh, place, a person can say with the Nusach of the place, and there's nothing wrong with that. Baruch Adonai Lulam. Amen. Amen.